People say you can't wait for business or government to act. You have to act yourself. And that's what Richard and Alison have done. They have retrofitted their house to make it more sustainable. Welcome to our sustainable home, Happy Earth. Come on in, guys. Originally, the whole property was predominantly grass. Um, and where, where, where the veg vegetable bed is here, it was uh, in-ground swimming pool and concrete. So we've removed the concrete and we've put in, uh, you know, a vegetable garden. We've tried to reuse as many things as we could from the original house in a more sustainable way. Even the old driveway has been broken up and reused to form the garden park. Most of the items in the house are either reused, recycled or handmade. We've built this little deck out the front and a chicken house down the back and a plant nursery and they're all made out of recycled building materials. We've got two of these babies which water our garden and supply our washing machine. And then the grey water from the washing machine is recycled to feed the bananas and pawpaws. We grow most of our own food in our backyard. So there's no packaging that needs to get thrown out. These are our mean green recycling machines. All of our food scraps get blended up and fed to the worm farm. We probably fill up a, a sock full um, worth of waste each week, and which probably means we put out the, the you know the garbage bin, you know, once every three months. Yeah, it'd be great to do it once a year. Have to do a challenge, put out the garbage bin over a month in whole year. <laughs>